Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I just want to pre-warn you, I'm filming this on a Sunday when you're seeing this, so happy Sunday. Um, but there are children playing outside across the road. One's kicking a football, one is, I don't know what the other one's doing. So if you hear any loud noises, it's them. I can't edit my videos, so I would love to edit them out. Unfortunately, I can't do that because my laptop is dying. A so brutal death and I know I keep saying this but I can't afford to get a new one so here's what it is but if you can't tell by the way I'm dressed today we're doing my Super Beauty book collection I have filmed this originally but my camera cut out of me story of my life um so yeah we're gonna go back and redo it today um so I've got um one non-book and then two compilations and then the rest are just um full on thank you Nana I don't know if you can see Nana but she's a Thank you. Um, and, and like a couple of compilations and then we're going into the full story one. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I want to show you is my Stephen Beauty video. Are you like, why are you showing this in a book collection? Because I think um, it's important. This is what started my love of Stephen Beauty off. Apparently I love the way her dress changed when I was little and that's how I fell in love with Aurora. And I just thought it was important to show this. It is the original um, video as you can see um and i love that i i still have this so i just wanted to include it anyway because it's just just a nice little memento so the next English thing i'm going to show you is if you've seen my Disneyland paris haul from may 2018 i'll link it down below if you haven't you will know about this uh, treasury of princess stories it has quite a few but more importantly it has because i have the little ribbony tab thing at the correct princess well for me it has La Belle à Bois de Mont. I'm sorry if I butchered that, but there we go. There's Aurora, and then there's the title page. Um, and so yes, it has Stephen Beauty in it. This is all in French. Um, as you can see, it is all in French. Um, but basically it has the uh, pictures from the, the animated feature um, of Disney, along with obviously the story, but in French. Um, I love this book. This was 24 99 euros, just in case you guys are going to um, Disneyland Paris uh, anytime soon, you want to pick this up. I got this from the storybook shop at the top of Main Street, um, by where Minnie now meets, which I believe is the Liberty Arcade, I believe that's the one there. Um, the one with the loose. If you know where the loos are, that, then you'll know. Um, the one opposite the Emporium. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is where I got this one from. I do think they do this in the gallery. You can get like a really posh version, then you can get the bog standard version. I got the bog standard version. But it does weigh a ton. So I'm just pre-warning you. Um, if you are staying... See, just like bangs on the floor. If you are staying off property, I would suggest getting it at the end of the day so you can carry it home. Otherwise, it will kill your hands or your back however you're going to carry it because it's not nice and then my other compilation one is this little uh treasury cove stories yes it is um i just wiped my glasses and it says um i am princess and aurora does feature in in here most of the princesses do i think she only has like two pages in this um but I, as you know i because i'm doing this video i do collect her oh there she is so next to Rapunzel it says my name is Aurora um, because I collect Aurora stories I wanted to um, have this one as well and she has I think it's just this double page spread as well as the one I just showed you yes um, where we also have Fauna and then we have Prince Philip here as well um, so yeah just like a really small um, sort of feature in these uh, Treasure Cove stories but um, also she this one this was $2.99 like I said I got it from the Disney store um, they're all numbered so just in case you want to collect them and then I think at the back um, they do have a list of the different ones you can get, I believe. Yes, they do. So if you and Isabel, so if you want to collect them all, um, Disney or non Disney, that's where you'll find them. Um, but yes, I what I am planning on doing is I am going to California this year. Um, so I want to um, like get all the princesses who I meet there. I don't. I think Belle's going to be the hardest one for California because I know she doesn't have a permanent meet and greet. Uh, but I'm going to get the princesses to um, sign by their names. So then it's going to be my little mini princess autograph book. And now we're going into the full stories of Sleeping Beauty. The first one to show you is another Treasure Cove stories, and it is Sleeping Beauty and the Good Fairies. Um, that one, the Iron Princess one, was number 56, just in case you're wondering, and this one's number 13. Unlucky for some. Again, this was 2 dollars I got this on Amazon, uh, well, my mum got it for me. And I really love um, the pictures in this. Um, they're kind of old-fashioned, which I think is what I like so much. And they even have um, Briar Rose as, because um, obviously she is known as Briar Rose of the Fairies, um, as a young child. Um, but I really love this, it's a very vintagey sort of, so they're very like obviously 1950s. Also, she has like this amazing cape look, which I love. Um, this isn't the conventional story, um, 
but she's different it it kind of focuses more on the uh, on the good fairies like for instance like there's i have not read this but there's like a wishing well so it's very snow whitish and then for cinderella vibes we have a carriage and aurora is flying so i've not read this um but it'd be interesting to find out kind of what this story is about um it doesn't give a blurb on the back it just tells you about treasure, treasure cove stories um but yeah i think these are the only two that aurora featuring i know there's like babysitting ones where there's a babysitting one on the back so i don't know if aurora's in that but i don't know if i really want that one um but yeah i think if they do any more aurora treasure cove stories i will definitely be picking them up so next one I'm going to show you, I got from a charity shop like ages ago. I also got The Brave Little Tailor and Aladdin and the King of Thieves as well, which I actually watched last night because it's one of my favourite films ever. And it's this little, little Sleeping Beauty one. This is the Disney's Wonderful World of Reading. Um, I don't know when, I think this is published like ages ago. I don't really know. When was the project? 1995, there you go. Um, by Gro Grolia Books. Um, but yeah, that's what this one is. Um, again, she's in a blue dress on the front. These pictures, again, are not I mean they're from the film but they're a bit washed out as you can see I mean it is from the 90s so it's not quite going to be perfect um, but they're all your favourite scenes that you know of um, I th does it end with him? yeah it just ends with everyone else up in the castle woke up too is that how it? no it doesn't there's an extra page haha -ha! I got really confused then um, but yeah this is just like a little one I think it was like a pound or three for a pound or something ridiculous like that so I wanted to pick it up because um, like I said do collect them hence doing this video I'm going to keep repeating myself but um, I really like it and I'm going to have it in my collection uh, next one I'm going to show you is this one this is a Paragon Books one from 2011 it's just this box standard Stephen Beauty one I actually don't know where I got this I want to say like Poundland maybe I don't know these illustrations are very strange like her hair is like non-existent um whereas the other the other designs like you know of uh flora and meriwether are just a bit more like more accurate so i'm not really sure um so yeah i don't know how much this was um i think you can get this on amazon again look her hair is just really really strange um yeah you can get this on amazon i guess if you order um like from a is it a third party sort of thing um but no i'm really glad i like um, i've got this this is the conventional story unlike the treasure Coast stories this is the conventional one um of the animated film that we all know and love um second to last but now is this one i know you can't get these anymore and i don't even again i don't even know when i got this i've had this for so long but i just love it so much and it is the disney movie collection Sleeping beauty edition so i really like it, it has this like grainy sort of cover and then aurora or briar rose in her outfit um is in shiny and this is a special disney storybook series again i don't know when i got this this was 9.99 um again i know you can get these off of amazon if you get them from like a third party from like the marketplace or something like that um these are again your conventional um let's do this one this is really, really cool this is philip and samson um you're basically from the movie and they are like really vibrant really cool like if you want so fast of having the book, I would suggest maybe like ripping these out. Yes, I'm going to say it. Like that one of Maleficent is like really, really cool. Um, and framing them if you wanted to. Um, like I would love to have this one framed, but I'm not ripping out this book and I'm not buying another book just to rip it out. But like I'd love to have that framed. Uh, technically I do. You probably can't see, but I do actually have um, this exact scene, like at this moment, um, sketch that I got done in California. Um, but yeah I kind of would so if you're not too fussed about the actual, having the actual book I suggest getting these and maybe just like ripping them out and then framing them or collage and then we'll do what you want with them um, but I'm keeping it as a book because I love books um, but yeah I'm really glad I have this in my collection and I really like it and then the final one to share with you was a Christmas present from my dad I asked for it and thankfully he obliged and it is this beautiful oh god I love this um animated classics disney Stephen beauty i don't know oh studio press books is the one that publishes it um i think this is about 12 pound roughly it is cloth bound it has amazing details you can see the different characters like all over the cover it is in like gold and it's beautiful um like we have maleficent we have the um spindle we have flora fauna and merryweather we have Samson at the bottom and obviously we have Aurora in her Briar Rose outfit. And what I love so much about this one, you're like, do you really need like a cloth bound version? Oh, 
just you wait and see i have it saved on obviously my favorite part but as you can see we have the movie still so this tells the story of sleeping beauty so it is the conventional story but it is told through the movie art as well as the concept art as you can see here um to show you another example of this here we go concept art and this is what i fell in love with i fell in love with the idea of having a book with the concept art in it again we have concept art here and here i just thought it was incredible you don't see this this is a whole series they do little mermaid snow white dumbo i think peter pan maybe um you can get these off amazon as well this is where this one's from um it's but yeah i get a lot of my books off amazon i know it's really bad um especially the disney ones because they're not usually found in store which is really frustrating um but this is incredible they do sell this in waterstones if you've got local waterstones um especially the big london ones they do have these but this is incredible like i said it tells the conventional story so it is going to be the film story that you know and love um but it does have the concept art that also talks a little bit yes it has a little glossary um telling you about the different art forms that they used um and also um about the the yeah here we go so it kind of tells you about the animators and kind of the people behind the art of sleeping beauty which is incredible so not only is it like um uh, fun and like fiction it is also factual um which has like a different element to it this is an incredible book and i love it so much and i will probably like never read it in the sense that i won't keep picking it up and reading it like if i want to read the story i'll like read one of the other ones it'd be more like used for reference or like if i just want to like fawn over concept art then that's what i'll do um but yeah so that's that is the last book in my collection um again last time when i filmed this like obviously you haven't seen that i was like that really isn't a lot and it feels like a lot so i feel like now i can warrant by more sim beauty books but i find that her story isn't the one that's interpreted as much and i kind of want to stick with like the disney versions of it rather than going off board like with like the um more like the Stephen beauty stories from like the original that kind of disney adapted um but yes uh, that's the end of my video thank you so much for tuning in um i promise i will film something sooner than on a sunday afternoon and then you guys will probably be seeing this sometime tonight i'm not quite sure when i'll upload this but it'll definitely be today so again like happy sunday um i hope you have a good weekend and i will definitely see you guys next week for a new video thanks so much for watching bye